I talked about enterprise marketing, so now you're going to be thrown into the sphere of consumer marketing. Remember the steps that I recalled in marketing, the three steps? So I'm going to outline what this is in layman's terms before I start applying my methodology so you can see how we actually marketed it. So recalls plus in layman's terms. Um, I'm going to preface this again. This is with SAP. SAP is a huge company, $21 billion company. The company that I worked for when I was doing managed mobility was Sybase that was bought by SAP and that was a $1 billion company. So I just want to give you some, some you know, perspective on scale and kind of where we're coming from when we start showing you some of the promotional things we did as well. You'll get an appreciation for it. Okay, so recalls plus in layman's terms. Um, is, uh, it's an application that basically uh, lets you track uh, US product recall notices. So product recall notices including food. And it's available on uh, iPhone, Android, which some of the folks on our team helped develop. So you guys can all check it out. I don't know if you can download the, um, the iPhone app because it'll be available only in the US marketplace unless you figure out how to get it. Um, but you can definitely check out the Facebook. So the way that we chose to segment our market. So uh, as SAP, uh, we do a really good job at um, getting to, uh, we do B2B business very well, so selling to businesses. So we have a, a ton of um, large Fortune 100 customers. And so when we looked at segmenting the market, like what, consumer, like what's up with that? Well, we decided we would look at our install base of customers that cater to end consumers. And so those customers would be CPG, consumer packaged goods, retail, and the high-tech industry segments. And why, why is it that we are um, looking at their customers? Well, as SAP, uh, we looked at the market and we thought, you know, we're already providing value to um, our, the businesses that we you know, help run. But what we could do is we could also help provide them additional benefits by, um, by providing value to their customer's customer and, and, and bringing those benefits back to, obviously, our businesses that we service. So in developing this application, we actually uh, went after the segment of end consumers that have, initially, we started with iOS that had an iOS device, and that market was actually, at the time, so this is um, 2012, this was about uh, 50 million users. And then what we did was we further segmented it because the uh, initial development team for iOS was out of Palo Alto. Uh, that market was about 30 million devices. So then we selected the market. So we decided to go after the parents of young kids segment. And we figured um, that market looked at about 5 million devices and there were about 30 million Facebook users. At that time, the competition, uh, there was around 15 iPhone apps that provided recall apps similar. Um, and there was a similarly a uh, number of Android apps, but they were mostly under what, what we would classify from an enterprise perspective as a bit underfunded. So they were underfunded and they couldn't um, provide a lot of marketing uh, effort into that. And so we felt that, you know, we could develop something obviously better and, uh, and, and put some um, significant marketing effort into uh, getting users. So who did we position this to and who was our persona? So step number three, position. Uh, we decided that uh, our persona was the busy mom persona. So we were looking for on-the-go U.S. moms uh, with young children aged around zero to three years. And as a new parent, um, they're obviously overly cautious, so they, they're going to want to care about recall notices. Um, they love their children. Um, they want to be the best mom they can be. And they've grown up with technology, and they're comfortable with social media, and they're glued to their smartphone when they're not caring for their baby. So this picture, I think, is kind of funny because it's actually Hillary Duff uh, in... Uh, uh, on a phone with her mobile device, but uh, it kind of gives you an idea for how technology plays a role in their life. So that's who we were going after. 
And the value proposition that we created for this busy on the go mom. Simple again, simple, simple. Uh, we were looking at uh, on the go moms. So on the go moms want to help they need help or they want help in keeping their children safe. And so Recalls Plus gives on-the-go parents vital recall information directly from government agencies such as CPSC, NHTSA, at the FDA, and USDA. So these are all American um, recall uh, agencies. Uh, they provide these recall information anywhere at any time through timely efforts from personalized watch lists. I explain the product in layman's terms. So here's how we start getting into some of the marketing details. So what is Recalls Plus? Um, it's, a, it's a mobile app that allows parents, on-the-go parents, uh, an ability to keep an eye on recalls for all their kids' stuff, including food allergens. Now, again, we looked at our competition so we also were clear in stating that this is the only application that allows parents to create personalized lists to trigger auto alerts based on recall notices from the US government organizations. So that was an important product differentiator that some of these other startups weren't providing. So we allow parents to share these recall notices within their networks and um, at that time uh, we were able to provide it on three mobile platforms. So not just one. We were the only uh, application, again, uh, that was able to trigger these auto alerts, which we felt was very important for our target persona that was very concerned about uh, keeping track of their children. So price. We offered it to the market for free. Um, why? Because we wanted to uh, get a user base going. Uh, we felt that uh, we launched version one, even though we had a ton of awesome features that I already explained with these auto alerts. Um, we felt that we could, uh, we could offer and seed the market with this offering and um, maybe use the feedback that we get gathered from version one and improve it with version two and enhance it. So um, the idea again, market seeding. And um, the other cool part about this mobile application that I didn't talk on the technology side, that is very important, is it leverages our in-memory database called HANA. And HANA um, is a new market offering for SAP. And um, wouldn't it be cool if there was a lot, a lot of users on this mobile application that also we could use as a reference base for HANA. So there was also a couple other things at play with why we decided to offer it for free. So we chose the United States as, a, as our market and that was basically um, based on technical feasibility. So we just decided to pull in recall notices from the US because of course any country you go to has a different um, uh, standards for recalls and so uh, we chose US to launch first. 